Hi there, Andrew Hemming from HemmingTraining.com. Uh, I want to look today at the uh, prone dumbbell row. Um, this is an exercise that we use a lot with our athletes. Uh, on the surface, it doesn't look very functional because you're lying on a bench. Uh, the reason I use this exercise a lot uh, is that it gives a little back a break. So if you've got a, a program of squats, deadlifts, Olympic lifts, things like that, uh, the back needs a break. And so this is a good chance to give the back a break and work on structural balance in the body. Uh, with the prone dumbbell row, in a perfect world, we do this with a flat bench that was high. Uh, those, there are very few of them around, and so uh, if you have the ability to put a flat bench up on blocks and get it high enough, that's ideal. If not, what you want to do is go the lowest incline you can without having your, your uh, hands touch at the bottom. Okay? Uh, so in this position here, you want to make sure you're not slumped on the bench, you want your chest out. Okay? And then from this position here, Pulling the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades. Okay. Uh, so common problems besides the chest slumping. Another thing is people trying to cram the dumbbells up too high, and that actually can pull the shoulder forward, uh, taking out of the retraction we're trying to get, as well as overstress the shoulder joints. Once your elbow, once your shoulder blades are fully squeezed, don't keep trying to ram the elbows up higher than that. Okay. Another common problem that we'll see a lot is people kind of doing more of a bicep curl motion. Uh, you want the forearm to stay virtually perpendicular to the ground the whole time. Okay. Uh, another common problem that we'll see from the front this around, is people doing a prone row and kind of coming in this way. Okay. Uh, you don't want to have that curling in action that's going to defeat the whole purpose of the row. And so what you want to see is the elbows pulling back, just enough spread so that the forearms stay perpendicular to the ground and you're coming to the side. So I always tell athletes, if you touch the bench with the dumbbell, you're doing this. You need to spread them enough to not touch the bench. So that's the chrome dumbbell.